coming to you from Reaction 3 News Team. I am Maxwell, I'm Alex, Alex, and Stefan. Every day news ready for you today, starting with important stories and even bigger message. Yes, Maxwell, that is exactly right. We've been following a movement started by Blake McCoskey, the chief shoe giver at the Tom's Company in California. We have several reporters who have been following the different angles of this story. Let's first go to our lifestyle reporter, Kayla, who has some special guests from Tom's with her right here in our studio. Good morning. I have three very special guests with me today from Tom's Company. Will you please tell us about yourself and the movement that you're involved with at Tom's? Good morning. My name is Taylor, but everyone at work calls me Soul Sister. Soul Sister? I like that. And now for you. My name is Madison, but my work friends call me Soul Way because I travel a lot. Does everyone have nicknames that have something to do with shoes? Yes, I'm a shoe designer, so that is why my name is Soul Sister, because I got a lot of style. For instance, Blake Mikoski isn't just our boss, he is our friend, he is our chief shoe giver. We are a family and a movement for the world, not just a company. I'm one of the business visionaries on our team. Not only do we sell and donate shoes using the one-for-one -one business model, but we also sell coffee and Ira using the same business model. We are also changing the way you shop using the marketplace. Check out toms.com for more information. Wow, this is amazing. This really one makes me start something that matters. Thank you for your time and energy spent on such an important movement. Now we are going to Sophia, our field reporter, who has found some girls barefoot. Hmm, let's find out why, Sophia. Hello to you on all the studio and all the TV that are watching this report. I am live here at Davis County Schools. I have found three girls who are barefoot outside. Girls, you have to tell me, what is this all about? Are you crazy or are you in a rush this morning to get shoes? What is going on? Today is one day without shoes, an event that supports Tom's shoes. We're not wearing shoes to raise awareness for the men's kids all over the world that don't have any shoes to wear. What do you mean? There are kids in the world that don't have any shoes to wear? Oh yes, this world is so much bigger than just where you live. Many developing countries don't have what we have here in the US. Many children can't even go to school because they don't have shoes to wear. And they are also at risk for protoconiosis, a serious disease that can penetrate the skin through bare feet. Protoconiosis causes long-term physical, cold, and cognitive harm. It is 100% preventable as something as simple as shoes. Wow, I had no idea. How can I help? Just kick off your shoes and join us. Well, you heard it here first. Kick off your shoes, your ways, and awareness. Back to the studio. Well, you heard them. Kick off your shoes for awareness. Let's see what our weather guy says about this. With eye weather, you never know how it's going to be. Garrett, tell us how our tootsies will feel without shoes today. You are exactly right. If you don't like the weather in Iowa, just wait five minutes because it's going to change. Let's talk national weather first. Looks like we have an interesting weather pattern sweeping the nation. Hurricane Toms is tracking across the country. Waves and waves of shoes are flying off of people's feet. As a meteorologist, I have never seen this type of weather pattern. Oh. This is just coming in from the National Weather Service. The waves of shoes are caused by the caring people across the country who want to raise awareness for the millions of people who don't have shoes. We need to find out more about this amazing event. Yes, I would say this is quite the developing story. We need some time to do some research. Let's cut to a commercial break while we dig a little deeper into this Tom's movement sweeping the nation. Hi, how can I help you? I need some coffee. What's your recommend? We have a water shoe product. It is from the Tom's Jersey Company. This pack of coffee actually provides water. Wait, what do you mean? It looks like a pack of coffee. Well, it is a pack of coffee. You drink the coffee and Tom supplies people in a developing country with water for one week. Well, what do you know? I didn't know coffee could help provide water. So, would you like to buy a bag? No. I want to buy two bags. Hi, we are having a fun girls day out shopping for shoes. Um, excuse me, miss, you're a shoe sale person and you're not wearing any shoes? Of course, today is one day without shoes. I am not wearing shoes to raise awareness for the millions of people all over the world who don't have shoes to wear. Do you know that kids that don't have shoes can't go to school? I had no idea. How can I help? Kick off your shoes and join the movement. Check out these Tom shoes. For every pair, we'll give a pair to a child in a developing country, one for one. Ooh, I like those. Izzy, let's get these, but less for them tomorrow. Today we're going shoeless.
Hello, welcome to my optical shop. How can I help you? Well, my friend Jordan here needs some new frames for his glasses. What do you have to offer? We have these wonderful frames from the Tom's Company. Did you know that 285 million individuals are blind or visually impaired, but 80% of those cases can be corrected or prevented with veil black hair? Tom's works to correct the vision of people. With every Iowa purchase you make, Tom's will supply a person with life changing vision corrections. So you mean that he can get new frames for his glasses and help someone need? Man, I wish I could help, but I don't wear glasses. Well, you can always support Tom's wearing some golden shades. Like these? Awesome, man. These are totally red. Yeah! Welcome back. We have more information on a developing story sweeping the nation, the Tom's Movement. We have found evidence of the Tom's Movement or sports and outdoor reporting. Let's check in with our sports reporter and see what he has found out. Jack? Yes, this is quite exciting. I am here with star pitcher from Davis County Mustangs. Luke, even he is barefoot. Tell me, how do you pitch barefoot? Well, it isn't that bad when I think of all the people in the world that don't have a choice. They don't have any shoes at all. Life really is all about putting others before ourselves. I always try to think of others first. Now we also have with us Coach Duncan, Luke's manager. What do you have to say about this? I am not surprised. Luke is a wonderful role model, a natural leader of our team. He is always making good choices and being a good influence on the rest of our team. Well, I am so happy to be a supporter of such a wonderful ball club. We need more sports teams in the world like this, that's for sure. Back to you in the studio. I have to say, I'm very proud to be a Mustang. I believe now we have our two outdoor reporters, AJ and Dean, who have some more information for us. Guys, how are you doing in the great outdoors? Well, Stephen, I tell you, it's kind of rough out here and no those shoes on, but it isn't bad. Some of that country we've been researching. Yeah, we've been researching about the country of Africa. Our train is near like there's there rest for hook arm jigger and tetanus, and you just feel the dangers. All we have to look out for are these. Back to you in the studio. Well, I have to say, my heart is full. I am proud of our community. We are doing what we can to help others. Isn't that what life is all about? Right you are, Addison. Right you are. We want to thank you for joining us today. And remember, get out there and start something that matters. Cut. That's a wrap. Great job, everybody. I got in there and helped someone. Woo!